So the Kim Muir is up next. It's a handicap chase. Race 21 at a three mile one furlongs and look to 140. Number one here to the ground. Paul Rhodes at top weight. Lions Golf for Jim Murray is two. Moonlit for Carl Arganti is three. Trivers Sills for Darren Thompson is four. Another world for Carl Arganti is five. Bishop Brennan for Kevin Meenhan is six. Malta Visioné for Molly at Surfer is seven. Blind Faith for Kevin Meenhan is eight. Hawthorne for James Follis is nine. Wormhead for Ponty Paul Racing is ten. Bootsy for Dave Robertson is eleven. Twelve is half time. Tea time for myself. Thirteen is Green Beans for Del Hinton. Fourteen is Napoleon Green. Gray, also for myself, and Chasing Clouds makes up 15. Napoleon Gray laid out for this race. He came third in it last year, the season before he won it. It's his race. I'm expecting great things. And he's up the front at the moment. But anyway, so with three miles to travel, it's moonlit. A reluctant lead up from Blind Faith and Green Beans. And they've got another world. And Napoleon Gray the Great, Auto Vision 8. Half time tea time in Hawthorne. And there's Worm Headlines Golf wide. Into the ground chasing clouds. Bishop Brennan Bootsy and Tribe of Seals. And finally get to the first fence here. The leaders are over it, as are the remainder. And we're being led by Green Beans. Blind Faith on the inside and Moonlit between horses. And another world just behind them. So as we get to the second. Water, everybody's over it. So it's blind faith from the green beads. Another world. Hawthorne, Motor Vision in Napoleon Grey. Oh, we've lost one there. Blind, no, blind. F no, he did. He shipped his jockey. It was actually Moonlit. I thought it was Blind Faith that went there. But bad luck to Carl. One of them's out of it. Oh, a and another one's gone. This time it's Moto Vision A. So a couple of uh, classier horses out of the race. Carrying a little bit more weight, and we're being led by Blind Faith, who's got about a three length advantage now from Green Beans and Another World. And there's Hawthorne and Napoleon Grey. Wormhead here to the gown, Bishop Brennan, they get to the fifth, the big ditch. Everybody skips over that one quite well. So it's still Blind Faith that leads us. Green Beans running alongside the loose horse, which I think is Moonlit. Ah! Oh, no! Napoleon Grey's a faller at the six. Shock him. So Blind Faith leads us from Green Beans. Another world, Hawthorne, Bootsy and Bishop Brennan. Sorry guys, I really thought my horse was going to win this race. I can't believe he's fallen. I don't think he's ever fallen at Cheltenham before. He's been around for three seasons. Rerun the race. Okay, back to two miles to go. It's Blind Faith still leads us from Green Beans, Another World and Bootsy. Bishop Brennan, Wormhead, Tribe of Seals near to the ground. A couple out wider. Chasing Clouds and Lions Golf in the last two against the fence towards a rare uh, Hawthorne and half time tea time. So we're down three. There's done plenty in this race. We've still got the loose horse of Moonlit running up there. So it's Blind Faith. Takes him over the ninth. Everyone's over it. A couple of four jumps there. Chasing Clouds didn't go over it well, and the worst of all was Bootsy. He's dropped himself a little bit down the tower of the pack. We get to the tenth, everybody jumps that well, bar Hawthorne, who's a little bit slow over it. Still a mile and a half to travel here as they go back on out for another circuit. These horses have gone wide here, chasing clouds. The Lions Golf will be adding lengths to their race. It's well as here to the ground. But it's Blind Faith sitting pretty. Leads by a couple to another world, Green Beans, Tribe of Seals, Bishop Brennan against the fences, half time, tea time. Boots is there, alongside Wormhead. Wider of those is here to the ground, Lions Golf and Chasing Clowns. They'll get over the 11th, so we've got another nine fences to take. And there's probably only eight lengths between first and last. Nice close order here from everybody. No mad front runners. <laughs> They're over the water. It's Blind Faith that leads us for giving me a hand from another world. Lions Golf Tribe. Oh, we're losing one there. One's getting pulled up. And I think it's Paul's ear to the ground. And the 10 furlow. My hand, another one's going. So, ear to the ground. And Hawthorne have both been pulled up in this race. One straight after the other. Just got over a mile to travel. Lions Golf went over that first. And pulled up alongside another world and moved over to take it up now. So, it's Lions Golf and another world from Blind Faith and Half Time Tea Time. Green Beans, Bishop Brennan, Wormhead, Tribe of Seals, Chasing Clouds, and Boots is the widest of all now. 
the uh, approach to the next. A big oh, and we've lost another there. And this time it's Bishop Brennan that went. So the field's getting cut in half here. And we're being led by Lions Golf. Blind Faith, another world green beans. I think this is a, mm, the most fallers I've seen. Oh, and half time tea time's gone as well. I can't believe it. But it's Lions Golf and Blind Faith from Green Beans and Chasing Clouds. Another world wormhead. Triber Seals and Bootsy, that's all we've got left. Just eight of them. And the original 15 that started. So we've lost just under half. We're already inside the final five, and Chasing Clouds has drawn alongside Lions Golf now. So Lions Golf and Chasing Clouds from Green Beans, Tribe of Seals, Blind Faith, Bootsy on the outside. Wormhead just at the rear. They get over the 18th, a really slow jump there by Lions Golf has demoted himself and allowed Chasing Clouds to go bounding off into the lead now inside the final half a mile. And it's Chasing Clouds now, has extended his lead, leads by about four. Running on well out of the pack now is Bootsy as well as Blind Faith going to have another crack at it. Tribe of Seals is running well as well, but they've got a catch this leader who's stolen a march here and it's chasing clouds by about five inside the two and a half now chasing clouds from tribe of seals lions golf running worm head as well behind those is bootsy and blind faith a little bit slow over at the leader there and they've cut into his lead it's now chasing clouds inside a further one and a half from lions golf and worm head on the outside blind faith and tribe of seals and another slow jump from chasing clouds has allowed lions golf to pull alongside the final furlong up the hill lions golf from chasing clouds in second worm head running on well tribe of but Lions Golf is jockey takes a sneaky look round. Lions Golf is just going to hang on to this from Tribe of Seals running on for second. I think Blind Face will be out for the Chasing Clouds is fourth. Boots fifth. So a win there for Jim Murray. You only won it because my horse fell. So Lions Golf, Jim Murray takes his second as Tribe of Seals are down top. So the third was Blind Faith, Kevin Me now. Fourth was Chasing Clouds of Martin Elam. And fifth was Bootsy for David Robertson. Probably the most disappointing race I've seen or called.